Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am back, and today we are going to be taking a look at the uh, LEGO Jurassic World set, Tyranid on Capture. This set comes with 174 pieces, and it is LEGO set 75915. comes with two minifigures and a uh, dinosaur, and its uh, age range is 6 to 12. So let's go ahead and look at those two minifigures and the dinosaur. Alright, so here is the first minifigure. This is Simon Masrani. If you haven't seen the Jurassic World movie, he is like the head CEO of... Uh, was it Masrani Enterprise or something? I don't remember. I haven't seen the movie in a minute. Uh, so he does have nice, like, jacket flight suit printing. Um, he has this nice spiky hair. He doesn't come with any accessories. Uh, you can see the, like, the reflective Jurassic World logo there. And he does come with a double-sided face, which is more scared because he's flying a helicopter to take down a pteranodon. So, this is Simon Masrani. Let's go ahead and check out the other minifigure. Alright, so here is the other mini minifigure. This is just a random ACU trooper. Um, he comes with a nice vest and the, uh, like, trank gun. He does not have a double-sided face. It's just the single side. I kind of wish this head would have come with, like, a more calm face instead of just the screaming face. That would have been nice. Um, he does have nice printing on the torso. I'll go ahead and take the uh, vest off so you can see the nice printing on the torso and then of course nice printing on the back as well so that is the ACU trooper now let's go ahead and look at the pteranodon alright so here is the pteranodon this is the uh, dinosaur or creature because this actually wasn't a dinosaur. Um, this is a creature for this set. This isn't a new mold because this mold was used before in the uh, dino line from 2012 if you guys remember that. So the head can open and close. Uh, the only thing I don't like about this is uh, let me get that out of the way. Um, the bottom mouth part is just uh, pushed up in there and sometimes it'll come loose and you have to push it back up in there but otherwise I think it's fine he do, it does have a bar feet or bar legs so if you have like a bar or something you just use this for example you can clip it on there and then the wings are attached with the same kind of bar piece and then the wings can flap up and down I and mean, that's really the only play feature he does have the four square studs on the back and then the open and closing mount. So that is the pteranodon. Now let's go ahead and look at the helicopter. All right, so here is the helicopter that comes in the set. I'm just gonna go ahead and move the box back. Um, it's a nice helicopter, that's why I got it. I like the build. Um, it does have this net shooter on the side. I'll just go ahead and show you how that works. So you're flying, you're flying, you see the pteranodon, and then what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to just But the net shooters really don't work. Um, they don't work as well as like spring-loaded shooters and studded shooters. You can see, let's try that again. Uh, let me get it all back in there. Okay, ready? And I kind of got it, but you can see it's more of a play feature for kids, not for older fans. Uh, this is just hooked on a ball joint, so if you wanted to, you can take it off. It does have a nice uh, sticker there. Let me see if I can focus on that. It's a nice sticker. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and leave this off for a minute. And then on this side, you have another two stickers, actually. Uh, one for the Dino logo, and then one for the uh, what's in here. And then you have Jurassic World logo, and then the JW001 with the slashes stuff. The stickers do, you can see some of them have, like, the scratch printing. So, like, that has a scratch printing, then you have scratch printing there and there. But then this, right here, what this is, is um, it's a flip down gunner's seat. Let me go ahead and come out of the way. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to sit the ACU on it with the gun and then fly around like that. Um, so, And then here's the interior of the helicopter. It's not very big. You can't put a minifigure in there. I kind of wish it was a little bigger so you could get a minifigure in there and still be able to close that up and have this on here. So I wish you were able to put a minifigure in here and still use all the features. 
And then of course, uh, I'm just gonna leave the net out, this is annoying. What is a helicopter without a uh, cockpit? It's very basic, generic cockpit, easily built with, I think there's like five, six pieces total, just to make the look of the cockpit. You can angle the joysticks so that Masrani is the one holding them. So you can see. So yeah, that's pretty much it about the helicopter. Now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys my thoughts on the set. Alright guys, so, my thoughts on this set, um, no, excuse me, my thoughts on this set, they're very, uh, positive. I like this set, I think the set is good, it costs $20, I forgot to mention that in the beginning, um, and I think for what you get here, $20 is worth it. I do think that maybe one more minifigure could have been included, but then you have to think about how much it costs to make the dinosaur molds, and that is why another minifigure was not included. Um, and then my only thing wrong with the helicopter is I do wish that the net shooter worked a little better, maybe give us a spring-loaded shooter instead, and then I do wish, like, the passenger, or this inside area, like, maybe you could take the top off, and then you can fit, uh, a couple minifigures in there, because if you look at the helicopter in the movie, this is kind of accurate, but it's not as accurate as it could be. So, I'd say this set is probably about a 7, just because of those main things. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, do not forget to leave a like and subscribe for more LEGO awesomeness, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.